and turn script. There we go. All right, hello, welcome, and thank you to everyone who is joining us today. And for those of you who are watching in the recording, my name is Michael Gummel, and I'm the VP of Business Development and Client Success here at Paradigm Technology Consulting. I want to welcome you all to the November iteration of our monthly ISV sessions. Today we will have with us Christine Boivere from Vivid Reports, and I'm sure I uh, mispronounced it, but we'll <laughs> let her uh, correct me. Um, Vivid has been around for over 20 years and has been providing reporting and budgeting tools to many different industries within the Microsoft ecosphere. Today, Christine will be concentrating a little more on their budgeting tools, but I've also asked or tasked her uh, with also sharing a little bit about Vivid's reporting tool as well. Uh, I don't want to take up any more of Christine's time, but I do need to mention that everybody on the call has been muted, so please use the chat for any questions. Uh, we will also have time at the end to review any questions that are out there. So without further ado, I'll throw it over to you, Christine. Thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you for inviting us to perform this webinar. I'm really excited to show you what Vivid can do. As Michael said, my name is uh, Christine Boivere, and I'm a report trainer here at Vivid Reports. Um, I, I also am part of technical sales. I do a lot of demonstrations for the company. Just so you know, I used to be a Dynamics GP consultant. I've been in the GP world for a very long time. I've worked extensively with Management Reporter, which our solution is a full replacement of Management Reporter. Uh, worked with, with a lot of different companies, seen a lot of things. Um, so what I've got planned uh, for the next 45 minutes or so um, is just I'm going to go through these slides quickly uh, so that just to give you an introduction of who we are, what we offer, what what is our product, um, what are some of the features of our product, and then we'll dive deep into the full demonstration of the software. Certainly, if you have any questions, like Michael said, feel free to use the chat window. I'm happy to answer the, the questions. I'll pause at the end of the, of the slides just to see if there are any questions, and then we'll jump into the demo. So as Michael said, we have been around since 1999. We've been doing this a long time. Dynamics GP was the first uh, ERP or the first accounting system that we integrated with. Since then, we've really evolved and we've really um, built many integrations, including Business Central. Uh, Business Central has become a, a hot topic in the Dynamics world, uh, but certainly um, GP, we've got a lot of clients using Vivid with GP. One of the things that I always like to mention is customer service and customer support. We are very customer centric. We want to build long lasting relationships with both our partners and our customers. We want to be reachable uh, even after the implementation is complete. Um, we still want to be available for you, which is why we include eight hours of support uh, when with your annual maintenance. Our customers vary significantly. We have perhaps a very small customer using Vivid with QuickBooks Online to very large customers using hundreds and hundreds of Vivid licenses uh, at an with an enterprise level accounting solution. The products that we sell uh, is they're called Vivid CPM, which stands for Corporate Performance Management, and the other one is called Vivid Flex. So I will be primarily focusing today on Vivid CPM, which again is the full replacement of Management Reporter. And with that comes, um, we have an add-on solution for budgeting and forecasting. So I'll be spending a lot of time during the demonstration on how our budgeting solution uh, works. It really helps streamline those spreadsheets that you may be struggling with. Our CPM product is all about the general ledger. We're focusing on your general ledger segments, your accounts, your balances, transactions, et cetera. We also integrate with analytical accounting. Um, I'm not sure if anybody out there is using analytical accounting, um, but we do integrate with uh, AA. Vivid Flex, that is similar to SQL reporting services or Crystal Reports or Power BI. It's a full custom reporting solution. So you do need to connect to the data. You do need to determine 
which tables or which SQL views you want to pull from, and then you can start building your report from the ground up. It's a little more technical. Typically, the report authors for Vivid Flex are an IT person, someone who perhaps uh, is a database administrator, etc. The report authors for Vivid CPM is the finance team. Typically, it's the controller, a financial analyst, um, et cetera. They will be the full report owners um, of your Vivid reports. We want to make sure we train the finance team to be able to um, not only refresh their reports and drill down, but also build new reports. Both of our products are 100% Excel-based. So right out of the gates, I find that Vivid is very easy to learn because you're working with something you already know. You know how to make things bold, how to underline, make boxes, page breaks, um, you know, doing very basic sums or, you know, base, very basic mathematical equations. That's all built into Excel. So we're focusing the training. Primarily, it's on just learning how to pull in those GL balances and transactions using Vivid Reports into Excel. So with both products, you can have both operational and financial reports in one platform, which is Microsoft Excel. So again, we're fully integrated with both Dynamics, all the Dynamics products, including GP and Business Central. It's a very easy implementation. Typically, we budget anywhere from one to two days to perform the training of Vivid Reports. This is Vivid CPM I'm referring to. We record all of our training sessions and then give you access to our customer portal to download those training sessions. Time and time again, I've had clients say that those, those recorded sessions are valuable after we've finished our call. Because if you forgot how to do something, you can always go back, revisit that training session and watch it again. If you have any kind of turnover or someone's unable to attend the training session or someone's changed their role with the organization, you can always refer back to those training sessions. These are just some of the features that are that we cover with our financial reporting um, piece. So again, reporting trees, drill downs, uh, automation, um, again, fully integrated with Excel. That's all included with financial reporting, and I'll dive deep into that during the um, during the demonstration. We also have a web application, so when you're rolling out both your financial reports and your budget input sheets, uh, you have the ability to um, eliminate Excel spreadsheets and just simply open up a browser. And within that browser, you can open up what looks like a spreadsheet and start entering your budget values and save those budget values. And you can also refresh the actuals and drill down into the GL activity. So our budgeting module, um, it's not only about budgets, it's about forecasts, rolling budgets, multi-year plans. You can, um, when clients come to us and they're struggling with budgeting, it's because they're probably doing it in Excel. Uh, I think 90, over 90% 90 of organizations out there uh, use Excel in some fashion for their budgeting process. But what happens is, is that those budget spreadsheets get out of control. If you have a lot of departments, you have a lot of entities, you have to replicate these budget spreadsheets across all those departments. Then they fill in, your budget managers will fill in the budget information, send it back to you, and then you have to consolidate that information to look, well, how am I doing overall on my budget? What is it looking like? And then after that, you want to put it in a format that's friendly to import back into GP. So both the budget spreadsheet preparation, the consolidation, and then the integration back into GP is very, very time consuming. Okay. So the benefit with Vivid is that it's a very cost-effective budgeting solution. It's very easy to implement. You can also keep the same budget spreadsheets that your team are used to today. And you can do what I call Vivitize an existing budget spreadsheet. So in other words, if you have on your budget input sheets, you may have a section for your actuals so that they can see the trends and then maybe a 12-month um, future budget values. 
So with that, Vivid can automatically refresh those actuals and it will capture the budget values that your team has entered in the spreadsheet. It will seamlessly consolidate it and it will also provide you an, an exported copy of it to import back into GP. So, and to replicate that budget spreadsheet across 10, 20, 40, 50 different departments is very easy to do. So maintaining these budget spreadsheets is very easy. Replicating is easy. Consolidating is easy. And integrating back into GP is very easy to do. You can preload perhaps a forecast with actuals if you wanted to do that. You can close the budget so no further changes can be made. You can also calculate the budget based on trends. So perhaps you, you may have some seasonalities. You have some peaks and valleys. You may be busier in the summer versus winter. So you want to spread your budget based on those seasonalities. Vivid can do that for you. You can attach your notes and your assumptions. And we also keep track of all the historical changes that have been made to a budget. So again, I'll dive deep into that um, once we get into the demonstration. So what's included? So with, with Vivid, um, when we look at the budget implementation, we will always start with the financial reporting piece. Uh, when you purchase our budgeting module, it is inclusive of the financial reporting piece. So we'll go through the training and we'll go through all about how, build, how to build a, an income statement and a balance sheet. And then once that training is complete, we'll jump into the budgeting training. So when you purchase Vivid reports, what you see on the screen here is what's automatically included. So whether you have one company set up uh, in GP or 20 or 30 or 40, we can integrate all of them. If you require um, multi-currency reporting, you may be an international company. Vivid can provide that. Report check, report automation is included. And again, I want to mention that we include that eight hours of support. We are not in the business to nickel and dime our clients. We want you to give us a call if you have questions. We realize that there are some things that you don't do very often, such as adding a new department, adding a new GL account, adding a new entity. So those are things that can easily be forgotten um, when, and they can easily be forgotten. So we want you to give us a call. We want you to email us and we have a, a support email uh, or you can email your implementer, your report trainer, etc. Upgrades are free with Vivid, providing your current on your maintenance. Um, both the software is free and typically the upgrade itself of Vivid, we will include that at no charge, given that it's very simple to do. So a little bit about Vivid's infrastructure. So what, what does Vivid need in order to be set up? So Vivid is a data warehouse. It does require a SQL database. Now, if you're using GP or even Business Central for that matter, you are already using a SQL database because it is a prerequisite. So with GP customers, we will typically set up the Vivid database on the same server as GP. It's not a prerequisite, doesn't have to be. Um, on the same server, but it is recommended you'll get the best performance uh, if it's on the same server. Then what we'll do is we'll establish a read-only connection to the GP environment, and we will pull what we need into our own database. So we'll pull in the GL accounts, the transactions, the balances, etc. So when you're refreshing a Vivid report, you are refreshing off of the data warehouse. That data warehouse, just so you know, it can also be in the cloud. If you're moving to a cloud environment, definitely Vivid can work in the cloud. Uh, we can host Vivid for you as well. We offer cl uh, cloud hosting services, supports VPN, it supports working from home, et cetera. Now that integration uh, between GP and Vivid typically occurs on a schedule. So we would set it up perhaps maybe once every two hours, once every hour, et cetera. That is that integration is very fast. It's not I don't like to use the word data mart. It's a bit of a taboo word uh, if you're using management reporter. Um, our integration is very quick. So typically it takes less than a minute to update the most current GP data into Vivid. We are only bringing over what's changed since the last time you ran the update. 
It can also be triggered at any given time. So in other words, at month end, you might be really busy, you've posted a journal entry, you need to refresh your financials right away because you need to get them out. You can run an ad hoc update at any given time directly out of Excel within our application. If you are a high volume um, uh, environment where you have tens of thousands of GL accounts or perhaps millions of transactions um, in GP, Vivid will perform extremely well. I actually worked with a client the other day who had 16 million transactions per fiscal year and Vivid was performing very, very well. And that's one of the benefits of having a data warehouse um, is that we have full control over that environment. We can tweak it, we can customize it for any of our clients' specific needs. The other thing um, by having a data warehouse is that Vivid is transferable. So if you're if you're running perhaps um, GP and you're considering moving to Business Central, Vivid is fully transferable. All of those historical reports that you had uh, when you were on GP would be also transferable and refreshable if you're if you move um, to something like Business Central. So the investment that you make with Vivid is typically with us for a very long time, just because Vivid is very scalable. This next slide here um, is just a, a sample of what an Excel spreadsheet would look like if you had both of our products, meaning you have, you have both Vivid CPM and Vivid Flex. So the top report is just a basic income statement uh, pulling from GL information. So you have your total sales, cost of sales, your operating profit, et cetera. The bottom report is your operating measures. So perhaps you may be tracking units shipped, orders processed, et cetera. That information could be coming from GP, perhaps from uh, sales order processing or another area of GP, or it can also be um, that data could be coming from an external source. You may have a different um, solution that you use that sits outside of GP and you wanna be able to report off of that data. So if that data is outside of GP, you can certainly use Vivid Flex to pull that information. So when we look at the cost of Vivid reports, uh, and if you, you'd like a quote on our software, we'll always ask you how many licenses do you need and what kind of licenses do you need? If you look over here at the bottom, for, for just the financial reporting piece, we offer three types of users. The report builders are, of course, your full administrators. But then after that, you have two types of viewers. You have the basic viewer with drill down, and then you have an analyzer. I call the analyzer like a power viewer. So the analyzer just has additional drill down capabilities to look at trends, to look at variances, etc., versus the basic viewer is just one drill down window that you can use. And then on top of that, you can determine if you want to add the budgeting functionality, you can have budget input licenses and a budget builder license. Just keep in mind that these budgeting licenses are inclusive of the financial reporting piece as well. Now, as part of um, today's webinar, we are offering a promotion for any attendee. So if you decide to purchase Vivid Reports, if you buy one report builder or one budget builder, you'll get one Vivid Viewer license for free. And we're letting we're offering this um, promotion until the December 22nd, providing the order for the software has been placed before December 22nd. Here's my contact information. I'm just going to pause here before I jump into the demo and just check to see if there are any questions. Right. I will assume there are no questions. OK. Um, I've got my Excel screen open. Uh, again, I'll just assume you can see my Excel screen. If you cannot see my screen, please let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and log in. So as you can see here, Vivid, both Vivid CPM and Vivid Flex are small Excel add-ins. So report builders or budget builders do require Excel. Viewers don't necessarily need to 
uh, view these vivid reports in Excel. We also have a web viewer uh, available that does not require Excel, does not require anything on the workstation, and it can be, you can view those vivid reports using any kind of device. In other words, an iPad, a Mac computer, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. These logins are typically maintained by the finance team. I've got access to the whole thing. So I'll click on main here and you'll see there's, if you look at the menu bar, it's, it's set in different sections and it's very logical. If you look at this building section, only report builders have access to this. If you look at the budgeting section, only budget inputters or budget managers have access to this section. And there's your analysis section for any kind of drill down um, options. So I clicked on the Vivid main screen and I'm using all Vivid users have access to this file list. This is a great way to publish your files, making sure everybody's using the same version of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a, a sample financial statement. Very basic, nothing super fancy. And you'll notice here, this variance column is just a regular Excel column or Excel calculation. This sum is a regular Excel uh, total. But over here, you'll notice that Vivid does not store any formulas in the Excel cells. That's really important, okay? We store that information centrally in the building blocks. Very similar to Management Reporter where you have a row format that you can reuse on multiple reports or you have a reporting tree that you wanna reuse on multiple catalogs. Vivid's very similar to that, which is really what makes Vivid a low maintenance product. So if I click on uh, control panel here, you'll see these are my prompts. There's my reporting tree. I'll go ahead and click on New York State. Click the month of July. You can set security uh, to your reporting tree. And you see here, it's just refresh the values. And these are just static values. You can share this spreadsheet with an unlimited number of users without the need of a vivid license. It, it would have been no different than had you keyed in the values manually. But if you click on this value, now you've got drill down. So I can see 34,679 is a roll up of these GL accounts. There's the 34,679. If I click on any of the accounts, there's the transactions. If I want to see all the transactions, there's all the transactions for all of these accounts. Okay. With that, you can drill into additional detail. These are all the fields that we bring over from GP. And you can also drill into, let's drill into an AP invoice. So I've got an AP invoice here, and I may be scanning. I may be using kind of uh, some kind of paperless AP solution. So here I can drill into the images directly from this window. This Everything that I'm doing here does not require a GP license. It does not require a license to your paperless AP solution. This is all built in to Vivid. Okay, we do not store these images in our database. This is simply a link to wherever your images are stored. And we integrate with a number of different third party solutions. If you look, I was in that drill down window. All Vivid users have access to this one drill down window. These other windows, you have to be an analyzer or what I call a power viewer. If you click on drill across, these are your trends. So if I'm on this cell here, you'll see I'm on the 11,221. There's in yellow, 11,221 for July. I ran the report for July. This is what I did in June, in May, in April, this year versus last year. I can add as many years as I want. I can add budget or forecast information in this window. I can drill down, uh, drill down into the activity. I can also switch this to a timeline view. So how have I done since the beginning of time on this particular expense? And you'll notice as I click these other cells, the windows just automatically refreshed. Drill compare is a nice way to drill into your variances. So I've got a $455 variance. I'm using Excel conditional formatting to highlight the variances that are greater than $300 or less than negative $300. Um, but I may, perhaps may, I want to know, well, what department or what account number is causing this variance? So I can click on Drill Compare, and I'm comparing column E, which is my actuals, with column F, which is my budget. 
So E versus F, there's, I can sort this based on the variance and drill into the transactions directly from this window. So that's really useful if you've got a highly summarized uh, report, let's say like total sales, total COGS, net, uh, net margins, something like that. So I'll just quickly show you some sample, some other sample reports. If you look at something like this, the fact that we are a Excel-based solution opens up to so many more possibilities like charts and graphs. This is not a vivid feature. This is a vivid benefit of having an Excel-based solution. These values are automatically going to be refreshed coming from GP, and you can drill down into this top section but this bottom section is tied to this top section. So as you refresh the data, the chart would automatically be, re be refreshed as well. So just quickly, other things I wanna point out before I jump into budgeting. Um, we have report checks uh, for missing and duplicate accounts. We have automation if you wanna roll out your reports as a PDF or as an Excel sheet or post it on a SharePoint site. Um, you can have those reports automatically emailed. You can have them, you can build packages and generate the reports for all of your departments automatically, uh, et cetera. So before I jump into um, budgeting, I'm just going to pause here and check for any questions. Okay. All right, I will go ahead and open up a budget template. Okay, so everything that I've showed you so far has all been about reporting and pulling the actuals, refreshing, drilling down. Now we are, we're going to switch our mindset a little bit. Now what we want to do is we want to capture those budget values it, from the spreadsheet and push them into the Vivid database. So before I get into that, I just want to mention when you create a new budget in Vivid, you can close last year's budget, make sure you lock it, no further changes can be made to it. You want to open up the new year's budget, you may have a forecast as well. You may want to preload the forecast with actuals. You may want to copy last year's budget into this year's budget. You can do all that automatically. It's part just part of the setup. When you're building your budget input sheets, this is something I would say is more common that I've seen where you have a combination of actuals, you may or may not be forecasting, and then you've got your annual 12-month budget. Any areas that I've shaded in yellow, and again, I just chose the color yellow, it's a visual cue to tell the users that, hey, I want you to enter values in these sections. I ran this report, this is for New York City, okay? We can easily replicate this budget template using our automation for your entire departments. It would automatically pull in the actuals from each department and have these, spread, these spreadsheets essentially ready with the actuals filled in and the forecasts and budget input, um, the annual budget input sections blank, okay? All of these actuals you can drill down, okay, there's, and you can drill into the accounts and the transactions, okay? Now, once we get into this, and I'll just focus on the, the annual budget here. So very simply to start, I can just go into these cells and enter values, okay? Vivid doesn't care how you come up with this value. It's just gonna check, is there a value in these cells? They can be uh, calculations, they can be links to other spreadsheets, et cetera. Now, if we look at the budgeting section, if I click commit, when you click commit, Vivid does a whole bunch of validation. It checks. Do you have access to the budget? Is it open? Is there, is this GL account exist? Once it passes everything, it'll tell you, okay, well, there's 16 values that match the same um, that's in the database already. So there's only one change that's going to be made. If I click on review here, it tells me that I'm going to be saving $2,500 to this GL account to this fiscal year, this period, into this data type. So your data types can be a budget, a forecast, multi-year plan, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit. So now what Vivid does is it pushes that value into the Vivid database, okay? You can also attach your notes. So we have a assumption button, but we also have your notes over here. 
So you could you could put your comments here, or you can open up this window. Let me just click here. Oops. And copy and paste your notes in here, and just say testing uh, notes with. Let's save that. Okay, you can also attach supporting schedules, scanned copy of contracts, etc. Okay. The other thing Vivid will do is it'll track all historical changes. So if I change this to 4,800, let's commit it. It does detect that there's a change that's been made. Let's go ahead and commit it. If I go back and this on this value and click on audit, you can see that it was originally saved by admin on this day at this time, even right down to which spreadsheet did this come from? And then less than a minute later or a minute later, uh, I changed it to 4,800. So again, a full audit uh, is traced on your budget in Vivid. The other thing you can do is you can use a distributor. The distributor is a great window to quickly populate your budget based on certain things. So if I wanted to, you'll see here, I'm on my New York City surveying line item. So this is my surveying, surveying line item. And I can drill into the actuals. You can see if I click these gray cells, which you can't change the values, but you can drill down, you can drill down into the account, into the transaction. If I were to enter, let's say I'm going to enter $2,400 in my budget. It does an even distribution by default. Let's look at this graph here. This graph is showing me my trends for my actuals. This is my flat $200 a month. Well, I want to tell the system, follow the same trends as my actuals. So over here, I can change how the budget is calculated and click the little calculator. Now you can see that my budget is following the same trends. Maybe I need to, excuse me, increase that budget. So let's increase it by 12%. So now they're a little bit closer. Okay. And you'll see, I'll just move my screen here. You'll see when I click apply, it takes those values and it populates them in the cells. And I can click this down arrow key. <clears throat> and now I'm on my next line item. So if we go to freight revenue, let's put in $12,000. Let's make it a calculation based on my trends, et cetera. The other thing you can do is you can use driver sets. So you can have up to 100 different driver sets uh, in Vivid. What you just need to do is you can use this code. So it starts with DS. Give it a number and then a description. So I've got the number of days. So if you look over here, I've got my equipment rentals uh, budget line item. I might be paying a daily rate. So of course, January is going to be higher than February. So you'll see here, I've got the number of days in the month for each of my columns here for each of my months. Let's go back to my equipment rentals and let's go to the distributor. So let's put in by default, let's put in 3,600. You can see it's a it's a $300 even distribution. But if I click on this drop down, notice days shows up here. So I can click days, click the little calculator, and now you can see that February is lower than January. Again, we'll click apply, and it applied those values into that month. Let's go ahead and commit all of this. This was all for New York City. Okay, so this is great. Typically, the financial the financial team will prepare the budget input sheets. Then you can distribute them to your budget managers. After that, from a licensing perspective, you have to you can get you can get very creative when it comes to uh, what kind of licenses do you give to your budget managers. You can give them no vivid license, which will still allow them to look at this data, populate the budget values, email you back, email the finance team the spreadsheet, then the finance team will vet it and they will be the ones responsible to commit the budget values, okay? So in doing it that way, the budget managers do not need a Vivid license at all. You could give a viewer license to the budget managers, which would allow them to refresh the actuals and drill down into the actuals. But you can also allow them to save and commit these budget values. So if you did that, then you'd need a, a budget input license, which would allow them to drill into the actuals 
uh, and also commit the budget uh, values. So it really depends. I have a very, we have a very wide range of options available. And I have some clients that say, no, I don't want them to be able to commit the budget values. Uh, I only want them to be able to drill into the actuals. Or I have some clients that say, no, the budget managers, they can commit their own budget values. And I will just um, print off a budget summary report and see where everything is at as they move along in their budgeting process. Um, so now let's replicate this spreadsheet for a different department. So if I click the control panel button, I can click this drop down, and I can see here that Syracuse, Buffalo, and New York City roll up into New York State. So I was filling in New York City. Let's click on Buffalo. Let's refresh that. So now all the actuals have been refreshed with Buffalo's values. You can see that the budget values have been completely wiped because they have not entered anything. So let's just quickly enter something here. Okay, so we'll commit those budget values. This is for Buffalo. So let's see how does this consolidate. So if I click on the drop down here, let's refresh this for New York State. If I click on refresh, let's drill into this six thousand dollars so if i can see this six thousand dollars and click on drill down there's the 4800 that i entered for new york city there's the 1200 for buffalo and if i hover over that there's the assumption or the notes that i had entered um, at the time of budget entry so as you can see that consolidations are seamless the integration pulling in the actuals is seamless okay now the next step I want to show is um, budget transactions. So if you look over here, let's pay attention to this line here. This line is grayed out. Okay, this is my commercial construction line item. It's grayed out because this row has not been allowed to enter values in this spreadsheet because I have a sub, um, supporting spreadsheet where I want to show more detailed information. So let's look over here on this on my budget transactions uh, tab here. There's my commercial construction revenue line item. These actuals are just automatically refreshed. But if you look over here, I have some budget transactions that I want to fill in. So I may want to track which projects I'm anticipating closing. So I'm going to build a new library. I, I got that job. It's going to be at 555 Main Street. And it's going to start in January. It's going to continue in February and it's going to wrap up in March. So these totals will be saved, but these transactions will also be saved. So let's click on commit. OK, so now that's committed. Let's go back to the original spreadsheet that I showed you. Let's just refresh this and you'll see that this these values are going to change. So if I click on this 150,000, click on drill down, click on this account number, you can see there's the budget transactions that are tied to that account number. So you can have a variation of different budget spreadsheets. It really depends on what you wanna capture and what you need to calculate. And all of that can flow through into something like this, which is a you know a master spreadsheet or you know more of your GNA uh, expenses, et cetera. The, the beauty of Vivid is that you may have these types of spreadsheet already built. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel. Those, those spreadsheets may be working well for you to capture the totals. But where your process becomes challenging is what do I do with all this information? How do I get it to total? How do I get it back into GP? How do I replicate this for another department? That's the really time consuming uh, steps when it comes to you know, preparing for your budget season. So we're, that's where Vivid will really, it's the best of both worlds where you can, you're not overhauling um, your entire budgeting process really to your budget managers, nothing's changed, but you've saved the finance team so much time in building these budget spreadsheets, consolidating them and integrating them back into uh, GP. I'm just going to pause here and see if there are any questions. 
No, I'm not seeing any, but I was just thinking that where you showed the buzz budget transactions there, that could also be used for if somebody was doing like a uh, you know marketing ex expense and they wanted to show how they you know the different um, plan marketing mm -hmm. things that they had going on and things like that. Is that another usage for those? Yes, like a, tr a travel budget, marketing yep. plans. Um, yeah, those are all conferences you're planning on attending, donations you might be planning on on um, giving, etc. So it's a great way to have the details behind the numbers there. That's right. If you look at something like this, this is one where I have multiple lines on a spreadsheet and each of these have your budget transactions. So you can fill in the section, fill in this section. And that's where I've highlighted that in yellow again as a visual indication to the end user that, hey, I want you to fill in uh, this information. And all of this is going to flow back. So if I go into here and put in here, um, you know, project four, this is my residential um, uh, budget. I'll say here, this is Boisvert's home and it's at... And it's going to start here. It's got to be at least 1.5 million then, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish. All right. So when we commit, we're committing the entire spreadsheet. Okay. And if you go back to this budget spreadsheet and we refresh this, let's look at the residential construction line item. You can see here that's been filled in. Let's drill down. Let's drill down. There's there's my home there. So, and you know, just to, on a side note, some of the other creative ways that you can use our budgeting solution is, you know, there's acquisitions, you may have acquired another company, they may or may not be using GP, but you need their information in, um, on your financials to build consolidated statements. So what you can do is you can use our budgeting solution to capture a monthly trial balance into Vivid, which will then you can integrate that into your actuals and have consolidated statements. So those are other things. I have one client, um, they're a international company. They have, I think, 10 or 12 companies across the world in all kinds of currencies. So we take a trial and none of them use um, the same accounting system. So we take a trial balance from each of those locations once a month or once every quarter, we bring it into their native currency uh, in Vivid and then Vivid will take care of consolidating and translating that all into US dollars. Okay, so those are just other ideas and other ways you can use Vivid's budgeting solution. Because again, these, this data is getting saved into the Vivid database. This is not getting pushed back into GP. If you wanna push back the budget, um, budget information into GP, we have a nice way here that you can export it. So if I click on this, this is my 2023 US budget. I can export this. And it's in a nice friendly format that you can import it back into GP. This is really easy to import back into GP. We do not write or push any data directly into GP. It's an export and an import. All right. Are there any other questions? I'd be happy to show if anyone's interested in seeing Vivid Flex. I can show you that in about five, five to eight minutes. It takes five to eight minutes to show Vivid Flex. Be happy to show you how that works as well. I'm not seeing any questions right now. So okay. why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll wrap up the the recording piece here, and then I'll go ahead and I'll open up the, the lines here for people uh, if they want to ask some questions. So uh, before we do that, again, thank you, Christine, for your time today here. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us either at uh, PTC sale, PTC sales at PTC solutions.com or 
uh, mtgummel at ptcsolutions.com where you can reach out to Christine. Uh, she had put up her information previously uh, on the one of the slides, so you can kind of go back to that as well. Um, so uh, again, thank you for that. And I will go ahead and I'm going to stop the recording.